Hello, my name is Denise Backmore, and today I'm going to show you how to crimp a bracelet using Easy Crimps. This bracelet was created with Easy Crimps. These are um, manufactured by Beadalon. This is what Easy Crimps look like. They come in gold and silver. The tools I will be using today, these are Lindstrom round nose pliers, Lindstrom wire cutters, um, two pairs of chain nose pliers, and crimping pliers. I cut nine inches of 0.46 millimeter 49 strand beading wire. And I'm going to pass the um, easy crimp through the wire. And then I'm gonna grab the crimping tool. Make sure it's turned sideways. I'm gonna pull that wire down to where I can see it's in there. And then you're gonna press really hard and then come up and press really hard again. And as you can see, this is strong. Once you crimp that down, it is on there super tight. Um, now we're gonna string our beads and I'm just kind of winging this as I go. I don't really have this design pre-planned. So I'm gonna string a four millimeter spacer bead, a little heart bead made out of polymer clay, uh, two more spacer beads, come on, go in there. And then these bright, orange agates. Using about 10 of these. Um, these. These crimps are really great for pearls when you can't pass the wire back through the pearl hole. These crimps are awesome for that. And now I think we'll do another spacer bead, and then the orange bead, and then one more spacer bead, and then now we're going to string the easy crimp. Okay, so it's right up there, you, you can see it. The best way I have found is to take your round nose pliers, grab it, and pull it down. And then we're gonna come in using the first notch of our crimping pliers. And we're gonna crimp that down, move up a little bit, crimp it down again. And then we're gonna pull that back. We're gonna come in with our wire cutters and cut that end off. And this is super strong. Do you see how hard I'm pulling this? It is not moving. I love these crimps, they're amazing. Let's come back in and add our spring clasp and our jump rings. This is how you open a jump ring. You never pull it apart. You open it. We're going to pick up our spring clasp. And let's attach that. We're going to come back in and close it. Let's pick up another jump ring. Open it, 
attach it to the other side and close that jump ring. I like to come back in with uh, jump rings and put them on the ends. So let's grab some jump rings. And you just kind of attach the jump rings over over the easy crimp. So I just went through and I attached about six jump rings on each side of the bracelet. I like the way it looks, it gives the bracelet some movement. So let's attach some pendants and dangles to finish off the bracelet. So this is a ceramic flower. We're gonna come in and attach it on that side. And then let's pick up this little butterfly wing. And attach it right there. Uh, now I think I'm going to form a little dangle using this copper bead. So let's string a four millimeter spacer bead and then this copper bead. We are going to form a simple loop. So we're going to bend the wire back. And we are going to trim the end. And then using our round nose pliers, we are just going to move the wire towards us. And now we're going to open up the loop just like we would a jump ring. And we're going to attach it. Close that jump ring. And there you have it. How to create a bracelet using the easy crimps. Like I said, try it for pearls when you can't go back through. And um, let me know what you think of the crimps. I'd love to hear your feedback. See you next time.